Sun beating down, record breaking temperatures, playgrounds are empty, cars sweltering, parents pack their kids to the only relief in town. It's really miserable and for my two year old is miserable for her as well because she acts up when it's hot. In a matter of hours, Novant Health pediatrician Dr. Scott Spees says the heat can be deadly for children. Their bodies don't maintain temperatures as well as adults and they don't recognize the heat exhaustion signs, nausea, headache, dizziness. Heat stroke, which is where you've lost the ability to maintain your temperature and you're getting into 104, 105 fevers, seizures, things like that. It gets really dangerous really fast. And as the heat peaked at 99 degrees, we tested just how hot it can get for kids and how dangerous starting back at the playground. Just to give you some perspective, this portion of the slide in the shade measures at 105 degrees, not too hot to the touch, but up here in the sunlight, the temperature is 147 degrees. If you've got a child that's not able to jump off of that right away, you can easily get into first and second degree burns. Dr. Spees points out some of the more unexpected dangers, like your child's car seat. Michaela Reed's car seat buckle? 130. Inside the car, nearly 150 degrees. It's too hot. Too hot for my babies. Children can suffocate in less than five minutes. Everything is about safety when you have children. Advice that could save your child. Cool the car and stay out of the sun. Courtney Francisco, WCCB News.